idolatry. A covetous person is an idolater. It shocks me to realize in my own life the role of idolatry. You don't think of, we don't normally think of ourselves as idolaters because we don't bow before some kind of bronze or wooden idol or something. And yet, covetousness is idolatry. I look, at, I look back at certain aspects of patriotism for this country that now has become idolatry as we realize the myth that is really past. Covetous, uh, idolatry is a false concept. God uh, approves, uh, uh, that God approves, a uh, false concept that God approves sensual greed. No. Idolatry puts down a person's own will above the will of God. That's what idolatry is. Idolatry is the worship of the creature rather than the creator. That's what Romans 1 is all about, and it hammers that. Paul makes it clear that the people who deliberately and persistently live in sin will not share in God's kingdom. Galatians 5.2, the literal translation of Galatians 5.2, they who practice such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Sin in the life of the believer is different from sin in the life of uh, of an unsaved person. It's worse. Sin in your life as a saved person is worse. Because you have the resources in the Holy Spirit to shed that sin. The unsaved person does not. You do. That's what Romans 5 and 6 is all about. The Christian demonstrates the reality of his faith by what? The tracks he passed out? His persistent uh, attendance in church? No. By an obedient life. That should separate you. That should make you so conspicuous that people will notice Many professors are not possessors. Many of us continue. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Let no man deceive you, it says. God's attitude toward fornication. In Numbers 25, there were 24,000 that were slain. God's attitude towards homosexuality. Sodom and Gomorrah, Genesis 19 should lay that out for you. There's a specific judgment for a nation that uh, uh, condones homosexuality. It's uh, uh, condones, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, that condones a uh, a failure to acknowledge him as creator, and that, that that judgment is homosexuality. Also, venereal disease, AIDS, what have you, changes in the personality, and of course, eternal judgment. These are all derivative of one's attitude towards fornication.